Hi everybody, this is Rolanda Sumner, CEO and founder of Life After Service Transitional Coaching. And today I come to you to talk to you about your target audience. One of the things that is never talked about is knowing your non-negotiables before you identify your target audience. Why do you wanna do this? You wanna identify your non-negotiables first because many of your non-negotiables might be centered or might include traits of a client that you don't want to deal with so if there is a client that triggers you say you're a female you've been abused hurt you know shamed what have you by males you may not want to work with females guess what that's a non-negotiable right there i i mean you may not want to work with males so you might say, look, I, I can't work with males. I don't want to work with males because they trigger me or I'm afraid. That's okay. That That's part of your target audience that you just want to work with females. You know, you might say, um, I don't want to work with clients who have a propensity for, for um, violence or for outburst. Well, okay, so what type of person generally has less outbursts and, and, and things of that nature? You might say, well, this person um, might work in corporate America. That's fair to ascertain because guess what? In the corporate workspace, you don't have, you, you're not going to have outbursts and stuff like that. Um, as a matter of fact, the person might be passive aggressive more than someone who acts out. And that's not to say um, that people in uh, corporate, I mean, not in corporate America will is, are acting out, but it is less likely to find that in someone who is a professional in corporate America. So knowing your, your non-negotiables and who you will work with, what your business is gonna be like, who you're gonna serve, what you want in your personal space or in your professional space will help you narrow down the person that you want to work with or the people you wanna work with. Getting down to your non-negotiables means that you have to identify who you want to be as a person. Who is your future self? When you're looking in the room of you and your client, look at your client, I mean, look at you and talk about that person in the coaching seat. Who is she? You know, outside of what she wears, who is she as a person? What does she believe in? What has she gone through and what fail saves or protective measures have she taken to protect herself from going through that again? You have to identify that because what you can find yourself doing is serving people who are triggering to you. You can find yourself working, attracting clients who are really violating everything you believe in. That's not to, I mean, that may not... They might violate everything you believe in and stomp all over your non-negotiables because you never decided to sit down and identify them in the first place. And there is a coach for everyone. Please believe there's a coach who's like, I don't care if somebody has an outburst. I know how to work with that. I don't care if to work. I mean, I don't care if I work with men. That's cool. That's fine. However, you creating your own business is to outline who you want to work with. You're not working a nine to five. A nine to five, the organization for which you work, they have their set target person or their target audience that they want to work with based off of certain criteria. And if you ever worked a job where you felt like this client, this, I don't want to work with this person. It's because it wasn't your criteria, it was theirs, and you had to fit into this square peg, and you can't fit into it because you weren't ever designed to fit into that space, right? So now that you are creating a space for you and your particular ideals and your values, guess what? Now you can identify what your non-negotiables are, who you're going to serve so when you develop your target audience when you discover them you can more easily niche down to that person that tight group of people 
who will not disrespect your values who would not disres who would not cross that line who would not stomp on your non-negotiables but you first have to identify what you're not going to put up with you have to identify what you want and in doing that requires you to look at who your future self is who is that person in your dream life who is that person who is running a million dollar firm who's that person sitting on the beach drinking my ties you know at 12 o'clock noon right before after or even during a coaching session that she's offering to someone else who is this person you can't do that if you're not willing to take a good look at yourself and have a, a conversation about who that person is and what is important to them and what that person is not going to tolerate, what that person is not willing to do in their practice. So I hope that helps you today. If you want to get deeper into identifying your future person, identifying your dream life, identifying your non-negotiables so that you can narrow down your target, uh, you can add that to the development of your target audience, hit me up. Contact me at support or better yet, check out the BLPS landing page. It's tinyurl.com backslash uh, BLPS 2021. <laughs> Hit me up, check me out on that um, page. This is what Business Launch Prep School is all about. It's helping you get down to those nitty gritty details that nobody ever talks about so that you can actually build a purpose driven business on your own terms, truly on your own terms. And most importantly, get paid well for it. Love ya.